Marhaba everyone and ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome back to another edition of the Connection series with Arabic Anywhere. Spoken Arabic made for you, wherever in the world you might actually be. We have a newbie lesson for you today. It's called, Are You Free for a Moment? In today's lesson, we're going to listen in on a conversation between Ramis and his uncle Yasser. First, we're going to listen to the dialogue by itself three times. As always, don't worry about understanding everything you hear the first time. Try and see if you can distinguish between the words and pick up on the tones used by each speaker. Let's listen. Dialogue. First time. Marhaba. Marhaba, Habibi. Ya ammi, hal anta fadil an? Naam, ayuni. Dialogue. Second time. Marhaba. Marhaba, Habibi. Ya ammi, hal anta fadil an? Naam, ayuni. Dialogue. Third time. مرحبا مرحبا حبيبي يا عمي هل أنت فاضي الآن؟ نعم عيوني Okay, now that we have the dialogue swimming around our heads a bit, let's take another step forward and listen to a step-by-step -step translation of the entire conversation. مرحبا Welcome مرحبا Welcome مرحبا حبيبي Welcome, my son مرحبا حبيبي. Welcome, my son. يا عمي هل أنت فاضي الآن؟ Oh, uncle. Are you free now? يا عمي هل أنت فاضي الآن؟ Oh, uncle. Are you free now? نعم عيوني. Yes, of course. نعم عيوني. Yes, of course. Great. I think we have everything we need now to get into some analysis. Ramis starts us off here by saying, Marhaba. If you ever come to the Middle East, you'll hear people saying Marhaban all over the place. In fact, they say Marhaban so often, it can be difficult to figure out what exactly they mean by it. Well, literally, it means welcome. And as often as you hear the Arabic word, once people find out that you're new in town, you hear them saying, Welcome, welcome, in a slightly accented English. For this dialogue, the best word to translate marhaban with is hello. As we mentioned in a previous lesson, Arabic greetings will oftentimes have expected responses. Ramis's uncle Yasser gives us one of these expected responses to this greeting by saying, Marhaba Habibi. Here, we want to break his response down into two parts. The first word, marhaban, marhaban, we know means hello and is the expected response to this greeting. We'll see in future lessons that it isn't the only one. However, if you ever hear someone say marhaban, you'll never go wrong by saying marhaban right back at you, buddy, without the right back at you, buddy part, of course. The second word that Yasser uses here is habibi. Habibi. Habibi means my love or my darling. Here, when Yasser says habibi, he's using this word in the masculine. If he were to use it in the feminine, he would say habibti. Habibti, Habibi for masculine, and Habibti for the feminine. This word gets peppered in people's speech a lot. So don't get too worried if the first time you meet someone they start calling you Habibi or Habibti. And don't get your hopes up either. Ramis continues the conversation and asks his uncle a question, saying, Ya ammi, hal anta fadil an? There's quite a bit going on in this part of the dialogue, so let's break it up a bit. First, he says, Ya ammi. Ya ammi. This is made up of two words. Ya, ya, and ammi. Ammi. Now, taking this in reverse order, the second word, ammi, ammi, means my uncle, as opposed to your uncle, his uncle, or her uncle. Now, how about ya? What do we think that ya means? Ya is a particle that is used before names when you want to call out to that person. So literally, Ramis is saying here, Oh, my uncle. Although when translating into English, we can just take out the whole Shakespearean, Oh, Romeo stuff, and just think of it as a way to get someone's attention. Next, Ramis says, هل أنت فاضي الآن? هل أنت فاضي الآن? To better understand this part of the dialogue, let's look at it in reverse order as well. The last word, الآن, الآن, means now, as in not yesterday or tomorrow, but now. The word before that, faldi, 
Faldi means to be free. But keep in mind here that it doesn't take on all the meanings that free has in English. Instead, Faldi refers to someone who isn't busy, not to someone who has the freedom to express themselves or a free car wash. The word before that we all know, enta, enta. It means you and is used in the masculine form. So when we put those together, we get enta faldi el an, enta faldi el an, which means you are free right now. But it ain't over yet. We still have one word left, which is going to change the essential nature of the sentence we just mentioned. That word is hell, hell. Whenever we see this word, it will always come at the beginning of a sentence and it won't have any independent meaning. Rather, it takes whatever statement that comes after it and makes it into a question. So, هَلْ أَنْتَ فَالْدِ الْآن means, are you free right now? As any caring uncle would be in a time of need, Yasser responds by saying, نَعَمْ عيوني. Here, we have just two words to tackle. The first word, نَعَمْ, نَعَمْ, means yes. And we use it in Arabic just like in English, as in, would you like fries with that? Nam. Do you have change? Nam. Will you run away with me to Bermuda? Nam. The second word, Uyuni, Uyuni means my eyes. However, don't think of it in the sense of an ancient Greek play and say, my eyes. Rather, this is a common Arabic expression that is used to show people how much they mean to you. So when he says, Uyuni, Yasser is basically saying, you are as important to me as my own eyes. Pretty dramatic, huh? But in translation, it suffices for us to understand his saying, nam, or uni, as meaning, yes, of course. Now that we've analyzed the entire dialogue, let's listen to it one more time. When listening, try and think about the meanings of the words and the phrases you just learned. Marhaba. Marhaba, Habibi. Ya ammi, hal anta fadil an? نعم عيوني. That's all we have for this one. Until next time, مع السلامة.